Hey everyone, welcome to a new series of Superbase with Flutter. In this series, we will be exploring about what is Superbase and how we should be using Superbase with Flutter. Now, first thing first, if you are not following me over my LinkedIn or Instagram, you are missing it out. In case you need all the latest updates or all the videos, you should definitely be following me over to my Instagram and also the LinkedIn. I will be mentioning both of the links of Instagram and LinkedIn under under description box. You can check them out. So in this video, we'll be exploring about what is Superbase and why we should be using Superbase under Flutter. Now for a general overview, Superbase is similar to Firebase with some advanced features. Now there, there is not a feature of serverless under Superbase, it is coming soon as we have seen here. Now at the time of this recording, the following serverless function is not available, but whenever you will be seeing it, maybe the following function is available. Right. Now first thing first, what is Superbase? Uh, as the name suggests here, as the tagline suggests, Superbase is nothing but open source, that is open source and Firebase alternative. If you have seen Firebase, how Firebase works, Superbase is exactly the same but having some enriched features. Now for a major difference, Firebase database that is Cloud Firestore and real-time database of Firebase are built over NoSQL model, while under the case of Superbase, it is built over SQL model. Now similar to Firebase, there is an option of authentication under Superbase it will be also giving us all the features of authentication with our social providers, email, phone number, etc. and etc. Under the case of database, database is built on top of Postgres, that is, entire database will be a type of SQL database. Other than that, it will be giving us an option of storage. Under the case of storage, it will be storing some values such as images and videos, that is, all the media assets. Under the case of real time subscriptions, the real time subscriptions will be an obligated version of Postgres. That is, whatever data that will be changing under the Postgres table, we can listen to it under real time. We will be listening to real time changes with the help of Stream Builder under the case of Flutter. Now, under the case of Instant APIs, there are various API available. Right. So, beyond any further delay, make sure you have created a new account on Superbase. To create a new account, you just have to log in here with your GitHub. So, I can simply start your my project. That is, click on the button of start your project. I will be starting from scratch that is I will be explaining everything from basics. Now here you can see I already have created a new project that is I am using Superbase from quite a month now. So I have built a project of Feedtalk which is a kind of clone that is fully functional clone of TikTok. If you need the source code of Feedtalk you can DM me on Instagram or LinkedIn or comment down under the comment box. But instead of that you can see once we have reached this place you have to create a new organization. I have already created my organization which will be pre-built with, with the help of your GitHub username. After that you can see you can add new projects and get started. But before starting new projects you can see you will be getting various organizations. That is you can create new organizations. You can have your account preferences. That is theme from dark to white etc and etc. Right so under the case of all projects you can see I already have a single project. I can start off by creating a new project under the same organization. You can also create a new org or go under the same organization. So here under this thing, we will be creating a to-do list. So here I can say it to-do list itself to be our project name. Now here you have to provide your database password. Now make sure you will be remembering your database password from time to time because we will be requiring a database password in everywhere. Right. So here I can uh, add a new password of 1234567789 and also let's say Superbase, any sort of thing. And yeah, you can choose your region. I will be choosing South Asia for Mumbai. You can simply create a new project. Also, we can rename our project name later, but you can't rename your database password and the region. So make sure you remember both of them. Now the following thing will take some time. So while this thing is loading, I want to give you some brief introduction about the interface of Superbase. Now here you can see you will be getting a URL and JWT secret and other things. Right. Now also you will be getting bunch of example projects, but none of them are built for Flutter. So in this series, you will be exploring a real world application of to-do list or with the help of Superbase. Right. So without any moving on or further into this, now this thing might take some time as it is provisioning our database and edge points. So let's wait for it. All right. So now our new project is up and ready of to do list. You can see you will be getting some bunch of things that is real time database, authentication, storage, and etc. Now without any further ado, I can I will be explaining to you about what the other things means under the left hand side. So first of all, you can see you will be getting this table editor. So under this you can see you will be getting an option of creating a new table and also some all the views right so in this thing that is in this section you will be able to create new tables for your database now under the case of sql databases we don't have collections we have tables 
under tables there are multiple columns and rows and we store our data under that right so after having this table section there is also a section of authentication under authentication you will be getting bunch of other uh, options as well for example if you go under settings you will be getting some external oauth providers which are a huge bunch of things also you will be getting phone authentication email authentication and also some other options right you can also disable the option of enable email confirmation if you don't require that and etc and etc right so you will be simply authenticating all of our users with the help of these sections you will be also getting bunch of policies and templates the templates will be containing some confirmation signups that is reset passwords magic links etc and etc all of these stuff will be sent to the particular user who wants to use a particular service after that you will be getting a storage api under storage you can create new buckets and add data according to you the data will be mostly stored as a type of images and videos and also you have to denote the type of images that you are storing and also the type of videos that you are storing under this case you will be getting bunch of policies and also usage now the policies here are important factor so we will be creating different policies and a separate video will be based over policy itself after that you can see you will be getting this sql query that is with the help of this section you will be able to perform raw sql queries under your tables the section of table editor and the sql shell is connected but here under case of table editor you can directly create that is interfacically create new tables new rows new columns but under case of sql thing you have to write your own that is your own sql code after that you can see you will be getting database options as well under this you will be able to check all the tables that are available under your entire project all the rules extension etc and etc now superbase is highly concentrated over postgres so you will be getting bunch of sections connected to postgres now you will, here you can see you will be getting bunch of other things as well that we don't have to pay attention right now after that you can see you will be having some reports we don't have to look over reports right now because we are not under any production mode after that you will be getting bunch of apis right now you can see at the start i told to you there are bunch of apis now these are the entire apis Right, you will be getting authentication API, user management, etc. and etc. So this was a complete overview of Superbase that we will be using. Now make sure you have created a new account, created a new organization, and also created a new project. In the next tutorial, we will be taking a look over authentication with the help of Superbase, that is with the help of email and password. So I hope you have loved this tutorial. Make sure you have hit that like button. Also follow me both on my Instagram and also on LinkedIn. So I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.